hey guys so i am back with another video and this one is the question and answer video that you sent me questions for a long time ago months ago um initially i didn't think that i had gotten enough questions however when i compiled all the questions from facebook and instagram i figured okay they are enough to make a question and answer video hopefully i will be able to answer some of your questions and the next time around I hope to get more questions and more engagement so that we can start sort of like a forum in the comments section. So the first question is about freeze and it speaks about combating freeze. I must mention that I don't mind some freeze. Freeze is usually a result of a lack of moisture. In bio there is a term for plants that grow towards the sun so that's pretty much what your hair strands are doing. They are moving towards the moisture in the atmosphere and so they're leaving everything else and shooting towards the moisture so that is the reason for freeze and as a result one way that you can combat freeze is by ensuring that your hair is moisturized so have a proper moisturizing routine a post wash moisture routine that is and as you know i usually recommend the lock method or the lco method they do a good job across hair types so check out my video on these methods and hopefully this helps you okay so this person says that her hair was long before and she's had to cut it all out because of damage and her hair is continuing to fall out so the first thing I would say is to try to find the root cause of your breakage because if you've already had to cut off your length because you've en endured breakage and your hair is still falling out then it means that you have not found the root cause of your breakage and you have not addressed it and it can be any number of things. Breakage can be caused by a number of factors. So with such limited information, I would not want to speculate. But some of the major things that cause breakage, one is our internals, our internal nutrients balance. Sometimes it's off. So any number of things from a lack of iron, a lack of vitamin deficiency, just not eating a balanced diet can cause breakage in your hair because your hair needs these nutrients just as your vital organs do. Also, it can be insufficient nutrients because some of us are eating well, but our hair, our nails, our skin are not doing well right now. Because sometimes while you may be eating well, you might not be eating sufficiently. Your nutrients go to your major organs first and these accessory these accessory organs or parts such as your skin your hair your nails would get the remnants if you don't have enough nutrients in your system obviously these parts would not get any nutrients at all so you need to check your internal nutrients levels secondly you can be suffering from breakage because of your moisture protein balance and that's usually the cause of why we cannot retain length especially kinkier sectors our moisture balance our moisture protein balance is often off and sometimes it is moisture that is the problem which can be seen by dry hair hair that does not have any elasticity hair that breaks off when it's stretched however it might also be your protein and somehow in the natural community especially kinkier textures we are suddenly very afraid of protein but our hair the best the base of our hair, the core ingredient of our hair is protein. Our hair is protein. So you need to replenish that protein if your methods are going to affect your protein levels in your hair. So you need to ensure that you have a good moisture protein balance. These are some of the things that I can point to it. And hopefully you find out what is causing your hair to break and you can restart your hair journey when you've dealt with that issue. Okay. So the person is referencing my two strand twist method and I will link the video right here. Usually I use that as my protective style of choice. I'm trying a new one today but guys I don't know how I relax my hair is not for me. It does not look good on me. I need to stick with these kinks. Hey. But um, I usually use two strand twist as my protective style of choice or my braids. So, the person is asking where, the, how long I suggest that they leave the two-strand twist in. And that is very subjective. For me, I don't leave my two-strand twist in more than two weeks at a time. And that is because my scalp has issues and I need to wash my hair at least every two weeks. Preferably every week. And so if your scalp does not have any issues and you think you can stretch 
and your twist look good, then you can keep it in for as long as you want. What I would recommend is that you experiment with it. So start out by looking to leave it for two weeks. If it still looks good and you have no issues with your scalp at the end of the two-week mark, then you can extend it to an extra week and see how that goes. Now in terms of washing with twist in, that's not something I do. And you would hear me mentioning all the time that my tangles are at the root of my hair. As a result, because my tangles are often at the root of my hair, if I were to add water to twist, my hair would immediately lock. If that is not a problem that you have, and if your texture is softer and is not prone to locking, then you can definitely wash with twist in. I've seen naturals do it. Or if you're going to wash with twisting, I would recommend that you be able to retwist your hair so that you would get rid of any shed hair within the twist that would alleviate locking. And something else Tiara says is that um, she's not been able to retain length because of single strand knots. And again, single strand knots may be as a result of your moisture putting balance, often because of your moisture. Because if your hair is, does not have enough slip, it doesn't have enough moisture to slide past another strand, it will become entangled with that strand and cause a knot. So check out your moisture protein balance, Tiara, and hopefully that helps you. I am going to do a video on how to retain length and how to prevent breakage. But just to answer your question, Nicole, um, I would recommend that you have a good moisture regimen and i'm speaking both and i'm speaking both pre-wash and post-wash moisture regimen so obviously that would entail one deep conditioning i recommend deep conditioning all the time and i am not just being extra i really believe in the virtues of deep conditioning and i would also recommend having a good post-wash moisture routine um that is it I would also recommend that you do not use too many tools um, if your hair cannot take it. These are the things I would recommend off the bat. I will do a video, please remind me if, I don't, if you don't see it up within the next few weeks. I will do a video on how to retain length and how to prevent breakage and thinning of your hair. Thanks for asking. I have been natural and I usually leave it in the description box. It's there for all of my videos. I big chopped on August 26th. 2011 so august 26th which was a few days ago was my sixth year anniversary um so i have been natural for six years and a few days <laughs> so usually when people ask me to recommend products which is something that happens very very often in the natural hair community i usually say i preach technique over product use definitely i definitely believe that technique trumps product any day there are a number of good products on the market and um, i think you can manipulate any product within your stash to make it work unless your hair just does not agree with that product at all um that being said i have a few videos on products that i like and products that work across the board usually for different textures um, so you can check out these videos. Everybody knows that I love the Alphagy Calific Texture Treatment as a deep conditioner. I also love Alike Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. I love Alike Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. I love the Cantu for Naturals Leave-In.